what prompted you to take apprentices and why you keep on doing hiring apprentices for your different job roles. Over to you, Sanjeev. Thank you. Thank you, Diti. First of all, thank you very much for giving an opportunity to share my views on apprenticeship. Uh, apprenticeship has been always very close to my heart. Where it actually, you know, became a very touch point for me when uh, I think one of the person from the team list itself initially came to me in 2016 and told that we have a program which will, you know, generate employability, make the people employable in the retail industry. So I like that word to make the people employable. That was an important aspect as an HR. So I wanted to understand that in 2016, I think uh, I was, I took, I understood that because uh, my background being out of legal, so I could uh, understand much better the, you know, the notifications and the laws which are pertaining to the apprentice. I went into, I did, did a very deep uh, dive into this because it was introductory in 2016. When I thought this, when apprentice, I, I understood well, and I took that proposal and I was working then with Killer. I went to my chairman and told this proposal, sir, this one scheme has come. So can we do this? He took that paper and threw, me, threw that out on my face and saying, yeah, ye kya? you are being something which is non-compliant. No PF, no SI, what kind of apprenticeship it is? So I said, no, sir, if not, I have studied this. And to be very frank, I convinced my CFO, I convinced my statutory auditor, I convinced my board of directors, and they really appreciated. And today, as on Killer, even after five to seven years, the apprenticeship program is running well there. So what I mean to say here is that a lot of organizations actually do not know that apprentice is an essence to be done. If you see every organization which has more than 30 people of the people have deployed, they have to deploy apprentice from 2.5% to 15%. 2.5 is minimum. But most of the employers do not know this. Do not know this. They keep on deploying here. Apprenticeship is a kind of an stopgap arrangement for saying something like it's a cheap labor or it is an manual work or a low pages work or a alternative education for the students who are not at work or a, a basically an alternative arrangement for you know the time staffing but it is not some of the chros also think that apprenticeship and the internships are all similar what i say that apprenticeship and internships are not similar they may be maybe equally plighted we are developing the pipelines of the people because they are ready to work for the you know the uh, non specialized work which are required to be done but going forward there is a lot of difference because the apprenticeship is a you know a school mode uh, what you call a curriculum college uh, curriculum but in case of apprentice, you are building the talent pipeline for the organizations and that is only the reason that apprentice holds much better higher you know, uh, in terms of internships, in, it is better than internships. So what we do, we actually, we have put to this scheme, the, we hire apprentice, uh, apprentice under NAPS. We have not implemented NEEMS yet. So uh, we are under NAPS for over, for around, it, it is our fourth quarter. So it's our fourth quarter. And uh, we have applied this on our entry level on the sales staff. So what happens is they continuously fill the gap which gets created because of attrition there. So, you know, we are hiring people, uh, we are hiring apprentices, and on the job they are being trained parallelly with the people who are already on board. Yes, that gap is definitely there, but then, you know, that gap of being on the payroll and being on NAVs, that's definitely there. But then how we manage it is by giving them a track of a training, which anyways the apprentice is. And after that, their appraisal and their promotion is you know, the review of, uh, we, we, re we review them every quarter. So every review, then accordingly, they are being uh, shifted to uh, the payrolls of the company. And uh, yes, the benefits that NAPS has to offer in terms of the reimbursements and the entire scheme, and you know, on the job training, the BTP program that it has to offer, everything, you know, gels up very well. Especially, I would say it's an excellent fit for retail. 